to say that was a pretty epic intro for a Legend of Zelda game. Hello I'm Cody from YB Games and we're going to be playing Skyward the Sword. It's going to be a blind playthrough, no guides. I will not be speaking during this cutscene but I'll say some general information about the game once it's over.
If I scroll too fast, feel free to pause. <laughs> this is a big bird. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I imagine the cutscene's over, so. This is Skyward Sword, then a long awaited uh, Wii release for the new Zelda game. It is a little weird. I'm not used to playing it on the Wii. But, um, well, general information this game has already gotten a 10 in Game Informer, and I can set down now. It's a big change. Also, uh, I have six hearts instead of three. It's a little weird. But there's supposed to be a lot of changes and updates in this game. Uh, Zelda has always been an evolving series, so it's nothing too new. But with the Wii controls, it's going to be a lot different than any other one. That guy's got Wink's hat on. You have a dash command, that's uh it's definitely new. Gotta move these barrels over to the kitchen. Wonder if you can pick these up. What? Wow. <clears throat> well, he is a link, so let's not be a dick. He is a great person after all. You can throw whatever you're hearing. You can roll small and Wow, it's a pretty heavy barrel apparently. <laughs> also, it makes your stamina bar go down, so I'm guessing that's going to play a big part in this game. I'm not really paying attention. Where do you want these? Give me a little Wii layer on this. I haven't played on a Wii in a very long time. So I'm sorry if I'm not that good at it. You can throw it by swinging the remote. Okay, I don't think I want to throw it. And throw it. And I broke it. Clean what up? It disappeared. Something I have noticed though, you can't roll. Not yet, anyways. <clears throat> so, but this is going to be a full playthrough. I'm hoping to put out uh, at least three or four videos a day until it's finished. Uh, from what I've read up on it, it actually is a pretty long game, even though it is smaller than Twilight Princess. It, uh, the Game Informer article that gave it a 10 said that it was took him about 40 hours to finish one playthrough. So I'm guaranteed to not find everything in it because I do not have a guide and I don't use one for my first playthrough anyways. 
So we'll see how that works. It'll probably end up having a very low percentage on the completion. Wing ceremony. I don't know what this is. Z targeting. Who needs a fairy? Dash up to the top of the wooden box. Oh! Got some parkour going on. What? Did you see that? He just ran up the wall. Yes, yeah, this, uh, this is going to be a lot different from most Zelda games. Call it the auto jump, man. Yeah. Let's break the fourth wall a little bit. Right. He has a little talk yep. caption over his head. Bird riding. I'm assuming there's not a horse in this game, which is kind of sad. Headmaster Kapora. Kapora Kapora. Wait, I ain't had this one. Help me out and go retrieve her for me. Hell yeah, let's do it. Mr. No Eyes. This guy has no eyes. Well, we're getting a little close to the end of this first video, so um, second one and the subsequent ones will follow, depending on how long it takes to upload them. But, um, We'll be trying to put out four. There is two commentators for his channel. We uh, do new releases and high-profile games. So if you want to, if you want to have a resource to see if you want to buy a game, if you just like watching playthroughs or whatever, go ahead and subscribe. Whatever. They don't really matter to us, but if you want to watch them, that's what you need to do. So. Uh, we do film these, the camera automatically splits them up into 15, so I don't know if I'll be doing intros and stuff. And he is a wimp. He can run really fast though. Oh, something else. You can pick up items like that, although I don't think it was one of them that was just to raise your stamina, but you're supposed to be able to craft and upgrade your armor and stuff. Well, not your armor, but like your shield. So there's a little bit of a crafting element to it and upgrade. From what I hear, it's also a game, um, rather than a hack and slash Zelda game, instead it's more pinpoint using the Wii mode. You actually have to time and map out your attacks or else you'll die very quickly. Which might be the reason why he has six hearts instead of three. Let's leave it off right here in this beautiful face, I guess. She looks a little weird, though. 